Damn, man. I got tears in my eyes. I ain't got no tears. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. What is good, y'all? It is your boy, Sierra Films here, and I picked up the dagger today, right? Um, to pick up the PSA dagger full size S to go ahead and review, and I uh, picked it up a little bit earlier, like at 12 o'clock, one o'clock for my FFL. I got back home, I was trying to film a video, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do the range portion first before I do like the unboxing version first. So I went ahead and um, packed up uh, the targets and everything, was going to go ahead and go to the range, and as soon as I go to put the directions for the range on my GPS, it says, closing soon so i usually go to the range on the weekends and i'm used to you know five o'clock being the cutoff time that's when they close so i will go ahead and i try to call listen to the operator and indeed it does close at three o'clock so uh i'm so sad so i was like you know might as well come back in here and go ahead and give you guys the quote-unquote unboxing my thoughts first impressions of this full-size dagger ass. i won't be doing a thorough unboxing because i'm sure you guys have seen a million dagger unboxing so it did come with this really cool range case let's go ahead and set that down it did come with a magpul g17 um p mag it did come with the doctor um optic plate and the screws and it did come with a lock as well but me you know me i like running oem so i'm running a glock oem g17 mag in it so this is a G17 mag, like I said, it does have laser engraving on the magazine base plate. This was done by my boy Riley over at Center Mass Custom. So before I show you guys the firearm, I will show you guys that it is clear. Magazine is clear as well. Set this to the side. Nothing in the firearm, so now we can go ahead and play with the firearm, show you guys the features and everything that it comes with. I did get the PSA Dagger full size S, which was the um, SW2 Doctor Cut. As you can see, it has these... Um, cuts right here on the slide and then it does have the doctor cut for the optic for the vortex venom platform and i'm going to show you guys right here transfer to this side of the camera so i can go ahead and show you guys the blacked out co-witness sites that it does come with that's real nice too so this is about the size of um the tyrant cnc ones that i had on my uh, 43x but just a little bit smaller so i feel whenever i throw a vortex venom on here it's gonna just go ahead and set it off and it's gonna co-witness perfectly we did go ahead and throw the olight pl3 valkyrie on there go crazy ah, go stupid ah, go crazy i know what you guys are gonna say it's that's gonna blow up your gun but i'm not using this for the light you know it still works and everything but i'm not using this more so for the light, I'm using it for the muzzle flip because regardless if this is a good product or whatever you guys think about Olight, it adds weight to the front, so that helps with that muzzle flip. Next thing you can see that looks beautiful on the dagger is that chameleon barrel on there. As you can see, that just sets it off and then the threads in the front just with the thread protector just laying off in the front looks amazing on there. So my first impressions for the PSA dagger was, um, I've always heard a lot of people talk about the grips, the grip modules being a lot better than Glocks and um, I would say it is nice. It is nice. It's pretty nice, but um, I, I really see no difference. It feels kind of the same to me. Why the fuck you lying? The mag release kind of feels um, a little bit extended. It doesn't feel like it needs no upgrade, and honestly, that feels real good, honestly, in my opinion. Um, slide release. This is one thing that I struggle because I struggle with having small hands, so usually I have to extend my slide releases to be able to get them. And um, my 43X does have a slightly extended slide release. Let me go ahead and show you guys that right now. 43X is clear as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this one right here so this is envokes and as you guys can see it's not extended it's just slightly extended let me see if you guys can see how that looks so it's not obnoxiously sticking out of the frame or anything like that so that's kind of what i feel like they did here with the dagger like my 43x for the life of me whenever i first got it i was not able to manipulate that at all like i had to use both hands with this like it's pretty easy like and it's this is a full size quote unquote full size this is what replicates to the g19x because this is a g17 um lower frame and this is pretty much a 19 slide on top so the slide release is pretty legit in my opinion um i also did notice during takedown the takedown pins are also a little bit extended and that is really easily to just go ahead and disassemble your firearm the trigger the trigger does have its own look to it as well and um this thing let me go ahead let me get some squeezes out first and then i'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like so look at the trigger Go ahead and that's the wall, right? That's the play, but I'm used to that because of the Glock, but that's the wall. Just break. That's 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 amazing. Honestly, this feels crispy. It feels like the OEM Glock trigger that I have on my 19 Gen 4 with the ghost connector. It just feels smooth, honestly, in my opinion. So reset. Not too bad of a reset. 
break straight back. Not bad, honestly, it feels pretty good. Like I said, I'm not one to complain about triggers. I've had the worst Glocks and I love Glocks and I've learned how to shoot the Glocks good with the bad trigger. So it's not too bad in my opinion. I would probably rate this PSA dagger right now as of like feeling it, um, you know, knowing about them, um, just everything, how it feels. Right now, as it sits, I would rate this PSA dagger probably like a seven. It looks like an amazing firearm. It looks like it's gonna perform well, but looks can be deceiving. So only, only way to tell if um, this is gonna be something that I really generally like is if I take it to the range, which I am taking for the first, very first range session, we are going to the range with 500 rounds and we're just gonna go ahead and run them through this. If it could run 500 rounds, then I'll keep bringing it to the range, but I'll periodically like not run as much rounds. But if it could break those first 500 rounds and it could run good, just like my, my other Glocks have, you know, it'll make me like this a little bit more. Maybe my bump it up to an eight and run this thing tomorrow. It, she's gonna get ran tomorrow. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.